and six-time world champ Stephanie Gilmore taking on Hawaii's Coco Ho. What a great feeling seeing Stephanie back to 100%. And you know she's not going to like the feeling of being in round two. She'll come out blazing. No, uh, you know, you, you sort of had a look at her while that last heat was in the water. Uh, the camera panned around to her and she had the steely look on her face. She was ready to go. Taking control of this one is Coco Ho. Great connection off the lip. Snaps it perfectly off the coping. Down the line speeds, beautiful. Big carve in the pocket. Coco rips one in the pocket again. Always stylish, great tempo and pace. She'll look to ditch the fins, but she'll end up getting hung up and lost the momentum down the line. But she'll get a decent number on the board here in round two, heat number two. You know, that was a good wave, but against someone of Steph's caliber, you've got to finish off your rides. You've got to make sure that you nail that finishing maneuver. It just gives the judges, you know, that extra little bit to give you. Let's have a look at Coco's opening wave here. Nice start right there. Coco's got that pivot. Beautiful, sort of keeps her feet in one place on the board, doesn't really move up and down. Gets that sweet spot happening and just engages those fins. Some great surfing here from Coco. And right there, just losing that last little turn. And uh, this was during the break, so Steph Gilmore already opening her account. Nice swooping surfing there, you can see the energy that she's bringing compared to last year. She looks a lot more fired up, a lot more strong, stronger. That's for sure, Joe. Back to live action. Stephanie Gilmore up again. Great timing off the lip. Big bottom turn, a full wrap. The six-time world champ is just drilling big turns on her favorite wave on the planet. A big finishing move for the local hero. Already has a 7.67 and another huge number about to come her <laughs> way. And as you said, Joe, another bomb just about to drop. Let's have a look. And she gets busy straight away. Look at that. Just sets that rail on that opening turn. Steph Gilmore's timing up here right now is just absolutely perfect. With her wave knowledge, her confidence is up. She's going to be very tough to beat. Snaps it up through the lip there. So Steph Gilmore just about to drop something up into the excellent range, I dare say. Watch this turn here, Joe. Look how much power she puts into her surfing. Sets that rail and then just gives it that extra little bit of flick at the end there. The technique is perfect. Style, everything. The timing. Look at the spray flying through the air. I mean, talk about some power involved in Steph Gilmore surfing right now. She means business out here today. One of the most graceful surfers in the whole world. Lighting oh. up this wave at Snapper Rocks. Wow. Love her turn selection. Those forehand hooks are incredible. And just a little extra on that finish spot. You know what I mean? Normally she just does that nice little foam climb. She did that nice little foam climb, but gave it that extra little bit of a snap through that floater section. So, tell you what, Steph Gilmore looking sharp. Meanwhile, massive scores dropping for Gilmore. A 9.87 on her last. Coco's up and needs a huge score to come through. She'll start with a foam climb that takes her down. But uh, talk about massive, a 9.87 for Steph Gilmore. The judges appreciating that faster uh, approach that she's got, that power that she's bringing to the game. She's surfing on form right now. We look at the panel's reaction to last of Stephanie Gilmore. Two tens thrown, three 9.8s. We drop a high and a low, so one of those tens got factored in. I love watching this performance from the six-time world champ trying to tie Lane Beachley's record this year. Lane with seven world titles, which is still the best of all time. Now watching Gilmore with a ton of speed. Driving hard off the top, getting down the line. A huge power hook in the pocket for Gilmore, and she'll slam it with a finish that ends up going away from her. You know, that's what happens when you train. That's what happens when you get fit. Your recovery period is almost immediate. As soon as you kick out of that wave, you're ready to go again. You know, you're ready to get yourself back out of the lineup. Here she goes again, off the bottom. Just look at that lightning fast. Just rips the top of that wave to pieces. I think that thing's on the way to cooling out a hospital right now. She just tore that thing <laughs> to a shred. So, Steph Gilmore looking super fired up. Priority with Coco Ho. She's looking to make a comeback. She's spinning on this wave, and she will take a look here. The Hawaiian, hard off the bottom. Clean wrap to start. She wants this thing to grow, and she needs to let go on this section. Oh. A big snap, but Coco goes down. Wow. On her way to a good score there. Sometimes turn into bigger scores, and we really got to see that come true at France last year. With Coco now looking at this right-hand wall, 
Starts with a beautiful first turn, front side float. She's a little bit deep, so she's out. Yeah, that was a good wave, but just a little bit too deep on that occasion. Uh, Coco, back to the drawing board. She needs a massive score, Joe, 9.72. How good is Steph Gilmore? Well, she won uh, not just the Roxy Pro in her rookie year, but she went on to win the world title as well. No one's ever done that, men or women, before. Here we go, Coco, up and riding. A big wave to pick off from out the back, but she late hits the first section, and she's down. Remember, Coco had the 7.83 a long time ago. That's higher than Gilmore's low, which is keeping her in the game. She still needs a huge number, 9.72, and she has to let it all go to go for that number. But if you're going to take down Steph Gilmore, you've got to literally produce the, your best surfing that you can ever do. Let's see what happens here. She came off the bottom, got a little bit of a bump right there, so that might have thrown her a little bit off balance, and her timing was just a little off. That lip was sort of already coming down, so maybe just a little bit of a mistimed uh, re-entry right there. So Coco back to the drawing board, and uh, she's got a lot of work to do right now if she wants to get herself back in this heat. Now Gilmore carving a big turn in the open face. Vertical foam climb, she comes around the corner, blows the tail, she'll step off. So that one not factoring into her top two. Coco still needs a 9.72 to take the lead. Back to this one with Coco Ho. Trying to run through this inside. She needs a big comeback wave. Great timing off the lip. She'll throw a 360, but ends up carving her way out. They used to have a lot of matchups in the one-on-one -on -one format back in the day when they both first got on tour. They've had a semi-final out at this event in the past. As we see, Gilmore getting started. A huge first turn carve. More off the lip with that wrap. Sets that rail line for a huge cutback in the pocket. She'll just jam one through the white water, going for the blow tail, doesn't reverse, pulls it around forward, just to throw that progression game on the inside corner. Having, adding some variety, let's check it out again. You know, she's moved further up to point two, realizing that that tide is going out, so it's gonna start breaking further out. Steph just tagging it, watch this wrap around Cuddy here, jamming at it, you know, getting those fins nice and tight, up and over the white water, right here, this was the end result. Bang, pokes the nose in, gets those fins free, slides out of it. Steph Gilmore just on absolute tear right now. And the crowd are loving it. I mean, we can hear the claps and cheers from the beach. I've uh, pushed the seat away. I'm actually standing up now because uh, this is exciting stuff. This is what we come here to see. This is why the first event for me is so exciting, to see what the surfers have been doing in the off time. We know Steph has been doing everything right, and that is uh, the end result right there. Well, just thinking about her 9.87, it was a different wave with different turn choice, but this one is so amazing to watch easily in the expert range. I'm just curious to see how high they will go. Every turn was different. She had progression, speed, power, and flow. What more would you want to do on that wave? Well, maybe she could have got barreled. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not much else, not much else really, I'll tell you. That was, uh, that was a well-served wave really enjoyed that she didn't just go into reverse she kept control and pulled back and pulled it around forward well, remember she had the 987 before last of Gilmore a 9.9 .9. getting closer to perfection last score she had two tens thrown this time three tens thrown <laughs> and a couple of nine sevens oh. so now a 19.77 total anytime you have more than 19.5 we call that a super heat yeah I mean boo on the nine sevens come on judges she had to sit on the sidelines last season. We saw what that did to Courtney Conlog the year before. Yep. That makes someone like Steph ultra hungry to win again. She'll just take a little lap right out front. Let's see what she has for us with nothing to lose here. A lot of momentum into this third oh. move. Just styles her way off the top of that car. Full roundhouse wrap with a punchy <laughs> rebound for Gilmore. The wow. local hero will fly into round three. Literally fly into round three. I mean, that was great surfing from Steph Gilmore. That's what we wanted to see from her. And we're going to have a, a, an amazing world title race this year, Joe. You know, you, we said it before and you said it too. You know, every year we say the world title race gets better and better. And this year, well, it well and truly is because now the rest of the field have seen what Steph Gilmore's capable of doing. They've got to answer to that. They've got to step up to that. What a huge performance from the six-time world champ trying to take out another title in the season opener on her home break. Throwing away a 7-6-7. She still has one more score to lock, but the best heat of the week so far.